Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that we're going to be testing two different transmissions. The first one is a HydroGear T2 series hydrostatic tra transaxle, and the second one is a Tough Torque K46 series hydrostatic transaxle. These are both very commonly used and good quality transaxles. The reason I wanted to show you both tests was because the first test is simpler, but the second test is more thorough. So I wanted to show you how you can test your transmission to make sure it's functioning. Um, now, I have this mounted on uh, the sawhorses, and that's kind of why it's leaning over. But basically what I did, I had it out and uh, I put the tires on to make sure that you had enough weight. Um, my point is, is that you can do this on the tractor. You just have to take the seat off and anything that you need to get access to the fan or the nut on top. And uh, so that would be taking the belt off too because that would create tension and possibly do damage to the belt. So. <clears throat> So, the first, before you do any of the tests, this is the fill plug. Um, it's best to take that out and make sure the fill level is up to the top. And in some of the older models, they filled these with simple motor oil, 10W40. Um, but in newer models and recommended for older models, synthetic oil is better because it lasts longer and then you don't have to do service intervals. So, a, a good... Uh, oil for that would be uh, 15W50 or 20W50, which is what they actually recommend for the T2 series, which is what this is. Uh, right, this is a Hydro Gear T2. Oh, I also wanted to say that this, uh, this fill plug is also the drain plug. Um, so if you did want to swap the oil out on this, you would basically either need to take this completely out and then flip it over so it drains. Or, I've never done this, but you might be able to uh, draw out the fluid with a pump or a siphon or something like that. Uh, there are models um, that do have a drain in the bottom, and, but this one doesn't. So, <clears throat> I just wanted to show you some other bits. This is the brake right here, and we'll test that as well. Um, and then over here is the shifter, it's in forward right now. Um, you can bring it down, you feel a little click, that's neutral, and then all the way down is reverse and you heard it click. So we'll test forward first. So let's do that. So I'm just using a drill with a socket and uh, I'm just going to put it on the nut at the top of the fan here, and we want to run it uh, clockwise. Um, so, first thing I'll do is put it on low, and we'll try it in forward. You can see the wheels are moving forward, so we know that's working. And then I'll take it on high just to show you. See if I can get neutral. Oop, the wrong way. Sort of. Um, it's a little tricky. Uh, then we'll go into reverse and. So we know this one is turning. Again, that's why I have the wheels on to make sure it has some uh, torque um, and weight. So. And then finally, I just want to show you that this brake works while we're here. And that's all you that's all there is to it. Now you know your transmission is working. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is show you uh, forward and reverse, and then we're gonna show you the differential on either side. Put this over here in the brake. <coughs> Show you the 
differential on the other side. All right, and then we'll show you the differential on this side. All right, so now we'll test the brake. And this is a little difficult to push, but I'll, sh I'll show you. Anyway. And with the differential, it wants to make the other spin, but the brake is working and it seems to have good pads. Last thing I wanted to show you that the push release for moving it around works. So here. Thank <laughs> you.